Once upon a time, there were nomadic Jews wandering the earth in search of a homeland. They had been expelled from many, many places around the world. The nomads came up with a brilliant idea to end their homelessness. They created a fairy tale book called the Old Testament. The Old Testament consists of mythological characters based off the stories they gathered from the many places they once lived. A few of the Old Testament's many magical characters include Abraham, Moses, and David. But the meanest, most intimidating character of them all was a monolithic sky daddy they called God. This God possessed magical powers. He made everything and everybody, knew everything, and lived in a magical place called heaven. Because the nomadic Jews were desperate and homeless, they, of course, claimed that God chose them as his favorite people and promised them a homeland called Israel. This God defended his favorite people by murdering and attacking many non-Jewish villages. He put curses and plagues on people and consistently gave orders to slaughter and kill men, women, and children. The nomadic Jews deliberately created this God to be big and bad in order to send a strong message to those who would rise against them. Their message was, if you keep mistreating us, our God will destroy you. All of the fables, characters, and propaganda became known as Judaism. As time passed, Rome emerged on the world scene as a mighty empire. The Roman Empire, however, became threatened with the spread of Judaism and its militant God. The Romans waged a war against the Jews called the Roman-Jewish War. Although Rome won the war, they still needed something to keep Judaism and its bad-tempered God from spreading again. The Romans came up with a brilliant idea of creating a kind, gentle, loving, and forgiving character that would subdue those who would otherwise convert to Judaism's big, bad, and angry God. This character became known as Jesus, the Son of God, and the book became the New Testament. Jesus, based off many other preceding God-Son myths, also possessed magical powers. The Romans were clever enough to make all the characters in the New Testament Jewish also in order to maintain continuity with the fables of the Old Testament and make the new fables seem plausible. All of the fables, characters, and propaganda became known as Christianity. The combining of the Old Testament fables with the New Testament fables has become what is known as the Bible. As time passed, the Arab population grew large and strong, and the Ottoman Turks conquered much of the Christian world. But the Arabs were missing something, a god of their own. So, like the Jews and the Romans, they too came up with a brilliant idea and created a god called Allah. Allah was just as big, bad, and angry as the god of the Old Testament. The Arabs fell for the fables created by the Jews and Romans, but they needed their particular fable to appear original, so they created a prophet called Muhammad, who possessed magical powers also. The Arabs claimed Muhammad was the final prophet because the people didn't obey Jesus, who was a mythological character himself. All of the fables, characters, and propaganda became known as Islam and its book is called the Quran. The Old Testament, being fictional, naturally means that the New Testament, which is based off the Old Testament, is fictional, which naturally means the Quran, which includes many of the fictional prophets of the Old and New Testament, is fictional also. One cannot believe in the fables of the New Testament without believing in the fables of the Old Testament, and one cannot be a believer of the Quran without believing in the fables of the Old and New Testament. As time has passed, the myths which all started with the nomadic Jews 
are now widely believed by most of the world's inhabitants. Israel has become a Jewish homeland because of these fables. The Arabs and Jews for centuries have fought one another because of these fables and countless of people continue to die in the name of the big three fictional Judeo religions called Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. At the core of the conflicts around the world, particularly the so-called Middle East, is simply a contest of whose God is the biggest and baddest. If you burn the Quran, you might as well burn the Bible, which gave birth to the Quran. But instead of burning the Quran or the Bible, in the name of world peace, do the human species a huge favor. Burn the fairy tale that gave birth to them all.